OK, to end up with just this squared bracket on this side, I need to add this term that's currently being subtracted to both sides. So I'm going to get plus b squared over 4a squared. And where I've got a plus c over a on this side, I need to subtract that from both sides to make it go away from this side. So I will get a minus c over a here. And then um, my next step that I really want to do is square root, because I've got a squared bracket with an x in it, and I'm trying to find x. But before I square root this, I'm going to tidy it up a bit. So I'll leave the left-hand side alone for now. And I'll just re-express this. I want to put it as a single fraction. Now you know that to combine two fractions we need a common denominator, which in this case is 4a squared. And the first part of the top is just going to be b squared. You can see b squared over 4a squared. I've got that again. I'm going to be subtracting, but this as an equivalent fraction, if I want the bottom to be 4a squared, I've multiplied that a up by 4 and by an a to make it into a squared. So I need to do the same to the c on the top. So your challenge is to fill in that gap um, to get the equivalent of subtracting c over a but expressed within this fraction.